Yeah, talking about headies. Yeah, um, we're not seeing good responses from Nigerian, you know, especially the A-listers. Uh, talking about headies being nominated. Um, what what are your thoughts on, on that? Let's go from why the A-listers are not posting about the headies. Let's talk about it from the perspective of the headies first. What did the headies do? The headies maybe has, the headies snubbed some of them for a long time. The headies had problems of credibility. Everybody knows that. The headies has pro have, have problems of bad decisions. But over the past two years, they've been trying to correct those decisions. Now, they still pander a little bit. But the truth is, they have been more right over the past, over the past two editions than they've been wrong. Compared to previous editions, where, they were, where the headies was ma majorly a popularity contest. And where it seemed like the, the academy was going for shock value over credibility. And that affected their reputation for a long time. But then, the problem with Nigerian artists, like we talked about previously, is that three problems. Entitlement, ego, foolishness, and lack of value, value for what is truly theirs and what is truly Nigerian. And it's been a problem across the board for a long time. Look at it this way. Nigerian publications do lists, write reviews, do a lot of things for them. Interviews. You will come for the interview. You will even do things. You, you, you will come there and be a psychophant to the person who is interviewing you. But when the interview is posted, you will not even react to it. But let Pitchfork or which Vice or even any population that is not even publication that is not major do something even if it's based from the, from, from the US from the UK even if it's from Portugal you are going to carry it on your head you will retweet it oh thank you blah 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 entitlement ego foolishness and lack of appreciation for the Nigerian thing I mean I understand it from the perspective of some of them they've been there done that like They've won the hair this a lot of times. They've done this a couple of times. They've done that a couple of times. No problem. But the problem with this is, <coughs> Hove has one more Grammys than a lot of you have won hair this. Beyonce has one more Grammys than a lot of you have won hair this. Kanye has one more Grammys than a lot of you have won hair this. Yet, even though Hove had problems with the Grammys for a long time, between 1999 and 2002, or 2003, when he accompanied Beyonce to the Edis, to the Grammys, he didn't attend the, the Grammys because DMX didn't get a nomination in 99 or 2000. He started going again. But you, Nigerian artists, Nigerian superstars, because you have problems with the Edis, you have refused to acknowledge what is yours. It's irresponsible. Borderline irresponsible. And Nigerian artists need to start thinking of what the big picture is. Now, I understand that foreign things are more desirable to you right now because you are chasing, you are chasing a new horizon. You are chasing a new market. You are chasing a new appeal. You have conquered all these parts. You have conquered that. You have done this. You have done that. Maybe the awards haven't been kind to you in the past. But it's still yours. Never forget that. It's yours. It's Nigerian. It will get to it. A lot of them also don't seem to understand that there is a larger thing afoot on this conversation of Afrobeats to the world and how everybody suddenly appreciates Nigerian music. It happened with Latin pop over time. It happened with reggae. It happened with K-pop. It comes in phases. You will come. You will go. It's America and the West. It's what they endorse and what they want to experiment with. They know it. And the larger conversation of this is they know that a lot of our artists are not going to be success, as successful as some of their superstars. So it's about building new frontiers where some of the other artists could also, where, could, where, which some of the other artists could also benefit from in Africa, foreign artists. But Nigerian artists don't, don't see that. They are saying, oh, they are, they are calling my name in America. I mean, I get it. America is, is, is desirable. It's the most desirable country in the world. I get it, no problem. But the problem with you is, you are entitled 
the Grammys that you are pandering to, you are pandering to the Grammys. Like if if a lot of you get Grammy nominations, you are going to they are going to carry it on their heads. They will put it up on Instagram, put it up. On, no problem. It's the Grammys. I get it. But guess what? The Grammys have had a lot of four powers over the year. Even this year, they didn't nominate The Weeknd. The Weeknd's album is one of the biggest the American albums of the year. TMZ reported that the reason why The Weeknd didn't get nomination, we can't confirm this. TMZ alleged that it was because The Weeknd chose to do the Super Bowl and the Grammys at the same time. The Hedges have not done that. The Hedges are even who demonize the law. They are not done that. But you guys, you are going for an award that failed to nominate Kanye West, my beautiful dark twisted fantasy for album of the year. You are going for an award that gave Makumo's album the best rap album category over Kendrick Lamar's um, Good, Good Kid Master Team. Even Makumo felt, felt ashamed when he won that category. We are talking about an award that, that gave Cardi B's Invasion of Privacy best rap album because of popularity of songs. You people don't have a lot of context, but because you are entitled, you have become entitled over time due to superstardom, you are neglecting what is inherently yours. It's crazy. I don't know how to fathom it. I don't know how to process it. I don't know how to understand it. They'll put you on lists in whatever countries across the world, whatever my, whatever my news, my publications, Mongo packing across board. It's Mongo packing. Simple, plain and simple. You know it's Mongo packing, but because it's good for you and because you think it's great optics for you, you will put it up. You will celebrate it. But when it's time to talk about the negativity of the, of the headies, that's what you will focus on. You will not focus on the negativity of the other things that you are celebrating. Let's even leave that for a minute. Let's go to the fact that a lot of you, you keep criticizing the Grammys. Oh, they don't recognize you. you know? Oh, we want best world music category award to be more so best best um, global music that they are calling in now to be more inclusive. You want it to be this. You want it to be that. You are not building an African award. You don't even attend your own shows, and you want them to value you. There are superstars attending the awards. You think the Grammys didn't have the rocky start at the start of the, at the start of when the Grammys was 10, 15, 20 years? Do you think the, the Grammys was recognizing black artists every other year? Do you think it was as inclusive as, as it is now? Even till now, for in recent years, Grammys had problems of Grammys so white. A hashtag on Twitter. They have prob they still have problems with Latin Latin pop categories as 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 late as this year. Because Latin pop parties felt they were not properly represented. But you, <laughs> Nigerian artists, Nigerian superstars, none of you, not one, not one posted recognition about the Hedges nomination. Not one of you. No one. What's the problem? Because you have been denied awards in the past. Have you been denied awards, awards as, as Kanye West? Kanye West still goes to MTV VMAs. <laughs> he has had pro problems with MTV VMAs twice. Publicly, twice. One with Jessica Simpson, and one when Beyonce lost the best video to Taylor Swift. He has gone to the, to the award after that. But you in Nigeria, because you are, your ego is getting the better of you, you think without you, the awards are not going to be good. So you are not going to attend the award. Let me tell you the, the problem with that mentality. The problem with that mentality is that what is yours is never going to transcend to the level of, of the things you are aspiring to get to. That means you will never have anything on your own front. Because this is the same attitude you have to anything as a Nigerian. You don't want to solve the structural problems. You don't appreciate the media. You don't appreciate your, even our words. You pander to foreign things. Even though you know a lot of the things that are giving you, they are not authentic. They are not authentic. Some of them are even, so you are, so 
you are even tokenized sometimes. A lot of them are even you are filling a quota system and you know it. And that's fact only by the way. You know it. You know it. I know it. You would then not go to shows. You will not. None of them posted about the service. Again, I'm saying it. No, nobody. But it's, it's also amazing that a lot of artists, like even though a lot of them talk about ownership, they talk about ownership, 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 and ownership a lot. And then artists bang on about ownership. But you are not appreciating something that is true in Nigeria. Isn't that funny? Nigerian artists, you need to do better, and that's facts only. Thank you.